What's up guys? I'm excited to announce our new series on the channel, Shreds Life. I don't know the name yet, something like that. But the point is, I'm gonna take the next six to eight weeks uh, while I'm kind of rehabbing my back um, to go on an aggressive cut trying to get some shreds. Um, did some traveling as you guys saw, hopefully if you haven't checked back in the vlogs, went to New York, Boston, etc. I was a little bit sick. Um, when I'm sick, I one, when I'm traveling, two, when I'm sick, I don't really watch what I eat too much. Uh, considering all that, I came back to Sacramento and I weighed 212 pounds. So not bad, kind of where I've been sitting for the last couple months. Been busy with uh, launching the podcast, Kaizen stuff, the Boris Shaco program. Uh, we had a lot of work going on, so my lifting um, kind of took backseat to my business and my travel. But now I'm home for a little while, and even when I'm on the road, I think it's going to be a little bit more relaxed, and I'm getting down a little bit more of a system now when I travel uh, that I can work out and eat how I'd like. So. Next six to eight weeks, my goal is to get as lean as I can. Um, we'll go into details throughout the series of what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, but a lot more upper body focused, obviously, as I'm rehabbing the back. Um, there'll be some lower body workouts, uh, but not too crazy. There'll be some conditioning, uh, et cetera. But what I need from you, comment below what you guys think I can lose in the next six to eight weeks. What goal weight, what goal weight do you have for me? Comment below, give the video a thumbs up. Hopefully you enjoy this workout. This is episode one, Shreds Life, cutting, cutting, winter cutting, holiday cuts, uh, swole for the holiday hoe, uh, Santa's clauses cut, all those names, ixnate them. You can leave a comment below, whatever comment uh, you guys think we should name the series, but uh, more of an aggressive cut. I talked about my history of my weight and gain and loss, but uh, I was 234 about 18 months ago. Took a year, dropped about 20 pounds. Obviously it was up and down, up and down because I was traveling, etc. cetera. Um, but I've been stable around 212, 215 pounds. And now we gotta kick off those last couple pounds. So comment below what you think I will weigh at the end of these six or eight weeks. Give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications to continue. Turn on notifications so you guys get all releases of all the videos and enjoy the video. This is for you, Punch Nugget. You'll always be Punch Nugget in my heart. This question if we did a GoFundMe to get Max Ayata some new kicks, would you donate $1? I that. that's, our, that's our boy Pomp. <laughs> Pomp. I got a dollar on some kicks, buddy. I got a dollar on some kicks. Poor Max getting crushed on the internet. How important is it to train the opposite stance in deadlifts? Uh, everyone's got their own opinion on conventional sumo, the carryover, even close grip, the carryover, high bar to carryover to low, low bar. I think um, there are certain relationships that are more common uh, and help more often. Uh, it will depend on lifter. Most of the time, I'd say a sumo puller needs to be doing some type of conventional pulling in their off season. It helps build the glutes, hands, low back well, even if it's a, a lighter with, with higher reps, a block pull, something like that. Not always uh, do I believe that a sumo helps the conventional as much. I think there's better options for a conventional puller, um, accessory wise, deficit, bands, um, block pull, pause, something like that for a conventional guy. But for a sumo, I do think. Uh, one, to give the hippies a little break, uh, and two, to build up the low back. Uh, some kind of conventional pulling will help. I can't bet you, you got the silly coat on. <laughs> this girl said, what you got? Is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> I mean, I guess it was wrapped in bread. Right? Should we interrupt that one? <laughs> He's coaching someone. We'll get, we'll get him. This is, the internet wants to know. Yeah. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. That's it. You heard it that's here it. first. That's it. that's it, that's it. I guess it's, that's it. You're welcome. <laughs> is a sandwich a hot dog? Look, look, look. <laughs> I don't kill myself. Where's the light? It's a little baby bag. You ever seen the 300? It's something I can't. Yeah, there we go. Functional. Can't spell functional. If it's wrapped in bread, and you have more than one condiment, 
potential condiment, not that you have to put it on, then it becomes a sandwich. Uh, steak, you typically just put like the butter on top or maybe like some chimichurri. So that's not a sandwich. So it's like one topping. But potentially a hot dog, you go like mustard, ketchup, relish, nacho cheese, all these things, plus being wrapped in bread. I think those are the two definitions of a sandwich, being wrapped in bread and potentially high amounts of condiments making it better. Sweat mode. Yeah. So like, oh, bye, 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 bye. One, two, three. You just see them using a lot of arms and like swinging the bar out away from them. Yeah. And that point, you just say, actually, you do this, keep your elbow straight, keep your arms straight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the cue that they help, that they say, the Four rounds, 20 seconds all out, minute and a half breather in between. Results may vary. Uh, I'm doing this about three or four times a week, starting my cardio on that shreds life. Calculating uh, calories and such. I'm gonna track my food probably every two or three days to make sure I'm on pace. Um, but I do better mentally when I don't track and I'm just aware, so. Uh, I'll make sure I'm in kind of the calorie range I want, but I track for three years straight, two years straight, so I have a good good idea of what I need and where I've been. High intensity cardio because I'm not doing lower body. Don't want to get into lower, low intensity, high intensity argument or, or debate, but low intensity if I have to really focus on squats and deads. I like high intensity for the time convenience uh, and the effect uh, when I'm not training as much lower body as of right now. So we'll get after it. Shreds Life, episode one, welcome.